The wooden propeller airboat, yeah. Touches down, yeah. Cuts the engine and glides to a peaceful, quiet stop in the Bay of Charlotte Amelet. Less than a minute walk from the hippie haven, oh yeah. And bypassing that hectic, traditional land-based airport. I mean, from there you're going to take a taxi 20 minutes just to get into, uh, you know, where the, where the airboat lands and longer if you get lots of lights, if you miss the lights and there's traffic, yeah. So, uh, amazingly, uh, the goose, the passenger, imagine you step out of the passenger cabin right onto a giant pontoon. And your next step is onto dry land, right onto, there's a park fronting the harbor with retaining wall. You, you step right onto the dry land. Yeah, and, uh, well, you throw your suitcase onto the grass first, and, uh, yeah. Well, oh, a trail of blood leaking from the suitcase follows the steps of Tennyson. Oh. You know, for a few seconds to get to the mansion, and nobody notices. Uh, well, Tennyson, yeah, he's flanked by his two sophic uh, troubadour nymphs, and he goes right into the front door and <laughs> right through the mansion out to the back door because he knows where the party is back garden, Doc's beach chair, and Wow, as he passes through the main mansion, spontaneous cheers erupt. He is a famous celebrity here. And then Doc sees him in the back. He bellows out, he's back. And, you know, his baritone ex exclamation has got all the kind of like hippie rats are, are jumping through onto the ship. See what, what kind of fun's going down in the garden in Doc's chant. You know, it's like vibrating kind of microcosmically up and down, it's like, you know, quivering with joy. And oh, yeah, beams of light twinkle from his mischievous eyes. Yeah. So, like a ghost of shackles, sex chains, and astral plane remembrances rattle their chains in a dungeon. Yeah. And yeah, the voice, huh? Oops. Heroin junkie misses his blood vessel. Oops. And, uh, oh, two belly-to-belly -belly slithering uh, hippies. Uh, yeah, they like to get it on in a dungeon. It gives you that extra kick. You know, kind of that torture chamber. s and <laughs> kick, yeah. Uh, well, they were just about to. <laughs> well, okay, let's go back to the guard and see what's going on there, okay? Well, Tennyson works the crowd. Uh, oh, yeah. Well, he's got like 20 freaks in front of him. Gather round, mates. And uh, come hither to consider what is before your bedazzled eye. See that suitcase? It's full of Rico's primus beak staves. And, you know, we stole them. <laughs> from the kitchen of the L1 Hotel. Yeah, these are, this is a good stuff. You buy that there, it's like 60 bucks a cot, okay? And on this auspicious uh, morning, um, yeah, this looted bounty uh, mm, overflowing into your haven, uh, into your, in, into thy miss, I. <laughs> King of St. Thomas and protector of Guadalupe, Dominica, where the Rastas have the good sense he buts, and Martinique. I've got those islands covered. No. And yeah, these uh, primus do beef steaks, we're going to do them up here. It's Sunday morning. And they're going to be hand served to you by two. Here they are. Queer Caribbean queens shot from a cannon? 
Out of New York City? I'm just saying, give it up. Put your hands together for Sappho. And, and her check. Saxophone. Look at those legs. Classical twin Aphrodite sisters. A couple of sisters getting it on. You thought you were kinky, huh? Well, there's just been conquistadorian performance in the world's poshest hotels. Yeah, this is a big show coming up. I mean, they worked. Americana. El San Juan, all up and down the beach under the catamaran, and uh, read my lips. Because this morning, our hippie haven is the trippiest, freakiest trip in 